So now let's see how we can work around with the polybuild tool inside of Blender. So in order to work around with the polybuild tool, I'm here in my sculpting mode and you can see that I have a sphere which I'm going to uh, take as a reference for the polybuild option. So I'm, to go, I'm going to go around onto the top, click on the plus button and then I'm going to go to general right here and then I'm going to go around into layout. So the sculpt that I have in the sculpting mode is carried forwarded, um, carried on over here. So if I were to go around and then let's say, for example, press Shift A, I can go around and create a plane, which I have right here. So I'm going to press tab and then select all of it. And I'm going to press X on my keyboard and delete the vertices. So now what I have is I have a blank canvas to work with. So now what you have to do is turn on the magnet, go around over here, click on vertex and face, and that is what you have. And then you can click on back face culling so and enable project onto self so that you can work around with the polybuild tool that you have right here. So now what I can do is I, I can hold control on my keyboard and click. What it does is that it projects it out so I can go around and let's say for example if I were to click and drag this you can see that as I move around the mouse you can see that as I hover over it actually has a spear around the dot when I actually move to the surface. So you can see that it is on the surface now. I can hold control and click on it multiple times so that you can see that there's a face over here. In order to see the face clearly, I'm going to go to viewport display and click on front so you can see that it is on the top. I can press F and you can see that that is what you have. So now what I can do is I can click over here, hold control so that it actually stick on, sticks on to that area. And you can see that this is what you have. Similarly, I can go around and then uh, hold control right here. Let me just click, hold control, and this is what you have. So let me just drag this out, hold control, so it actually sticks around. It wraps around to that area. So click and hold control right here, wraps around onto that area right here, and click and hold this, just like this, wraps around onto that area. And so forth, as you can see, it actually wraps around this object right here. I can go around and then let's say, for example, just like this, I can go around and click over here. So uh, you can see that that is how it actually works. So I can go around right here, uh, hold control right here, just like this. And that, that, that's how you can wrap around the area right here. So you can click on control and then make sure that everything sticks together so that it actually does not uh, work around right here. So you can see that you can wrap around these objects right here and I'm just going to press control Z a few times and I can go around and then just click, uh, click and drag this, let's say for example, hold control and there you go, it just wraps around right here. So as we have the in front option, it is actually showing it in front just like this. So I can go around and then go around right here and then create an entire wrap of things. So I'm just going to go around right here, create a wrap of things right here. I'm going to go around right here and then let's say, for example, go around right here, create a wrap of things and then go around right here, create a wrap of things just like this and then work around with it. Create a wrap of things. Let's just go around. So similarly, you can cover up the entire uh, object right here. Let's go around right here, create a wrap of, a wrap of things right here. And then that's it. That is what you have. So if I were to press tab, this is the object you have now. And then if I were to disable the on front, this is what you have. You have two objects now. And similarly, you can wrap around the objects that you have and then take this as a reference. So you got a low poly version of what you have right here. So what, what you have to do is you have to uh, go around and then cover up the entire um, area just like that. And for that, you need to actually work around with the merging of the vertex as well. And that is what we're going to see how to do on the next lesson. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.